Now a couple of major labor stories that have been developing while we're away. First, the Amazon Labor Union is looking to expand. The organization announced it will provide organizing and financial support to factory workers hoping to unionize at two more locations, one in Albany, New York, and another in Campbellsville, Kentucky. A third location in North Carolina has also reached out to the union for assistance. Amazon, meanwhile, is still trying to discourage organizing at its facilities and refuses to recognize the union that was victorious at the Staten Island location back in April. Hearings are currently underway at the NLRB, where the company is challenging those results. Amazon Labor Union President Christian Smalls is expected to testify in those proceedings later today. The NLRB is also seeking to punish Starbucks for its persistent union busting. Lawyers for the agency are in court this week asking a judge to do something about the over 200 labor law violations against the company, and that's just in western New York alone. The union and the NLRB want a judge to force Starbucks to reinstate workers who were fired for organizing and to issue a nationwide order to stop Starbucks union busting. The company announced on Monday that it was planning to close two more stores that had voted to unionize. These were both in the Seattle area. Despite these headwinds, the union keeps winning. On Monday, workers at a Starbucks in Alcoa, Tennessee, won their election, becoming the fourth unionized Starbucks in the state. The number of unionized cafes across the country is nearing 200. In other labor news, we're a week out from baseball's all-star game, and concession workers in Los Angeles could use the event to go on strike. Unite Here represents about 1,500 cooks, bartenders, servers, dishwashers, and other staff at Dodger Stadium, which is hosting this year's all-star activities. On Sunday, 99% of union members who voted authorized a strike against their employer, Levy Restaurants. That strike can commence at any time now. Workers want a new contract with better pay. The union said current wages don't cover rent and basic living expenses. The Major League Baseball Players Association came out in support of the strike on Monday, calling the concession workers a, quote, vital part of the game who deserve to be treated fairly. Also, over 1,000 New York nursing home workers are headed out on strike. Represented by the SEIU, they are demanding a new contract from their for-profit employers. The strike was authorized by a vote of 98% earlier this month and covers workers at 10 facilities in western New York. Some of them are going on strike today. Others are set to begin their picket tomorrow. The union is demanding a $15 an hour starting wage for workers, and it's filed a number of unfair labor charges with the NLRB against one of the corporate employers, the McGuire Group. Workers say the company threatened to fire workers if they went on strike. And lastly, credit to the bud tenders in Arizona, who organized the first pot workers union in the state. Workers at Cureleaf voted 13 to 6 last week to join the UFCW. The union is leading the charge to organize marijuana dispensary staff across the country as part of its Cannabis Workers Rising project. Cureleaf is the biggest weed company in the world based on revenue. It has over 100 locations around the U.S. The UFCW also nabbed a major weed union victory in New Jersey last week as workers at Wonderland, the state's largest smoke shop, voted to unionize. Contract negotiations can now begin to cover nine New Jersey pot stores. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here, head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog, plus tons of other great movies and original TV shows.